So alrighty, today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox and test out the rigid Stealth Force brushless quarter inch hex impact driver. Now this, uh, around me, this is a rare find uh, because they just they just don't they, they sell fast. You know this kit comes with the the tool, the bag, uh, a small ch uh, regular charger, and two two amp hour batteries. Now this was a hundred dollars. I'll put the sticker price that uh, I took a picture of the sticker price. I'll put that in right now. But as uh, yesterday there was a snowstorm, my traffic was bad, so I went to Home Depot across the street from my work, and I'm like, you know what? I'll see what they got. And uh, I found this. I was going to get the rigid 12-volt uh, uh, kit the, for the impact driver and drill driver. But I saw this for $100. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up, so I got it. So let's open this bad boy up and see, what, see what's inside. That's in there. There we go. Now that comes out. Now after the... It's good to have a... I have a, a mini bag for this, which is awesome. Box is empty. After that, box is recycling. Alrighty, so it's a nice bag. I, I like that where it lays flat. It's uh, wide but flat like that. Alright, so this is the kit. Here is spacing. That's recycling as well. Alright, so <coughs> now this is not an octane tool. Neither are these octane batteries. This is just a regular 2 amp hour hyper lithium ion high capacity battery, 2 amp hour. Is the battery dead? Yes, it is. We're going to have to let that charge. We're actually going to put one on charge right now. And so here is the charger, which the model number for the charger is R86092. Nothing special about it. It's not the one to where it's facing you then the battery where it has the fans on the side it's just a regular charger which is a uh, which is not bad especially for my needs i do not need uh many batteries charged fast you could you can mount it to the wall it does have the holes for that so that's good and so yeah that is the charger of course it has light indicators on what the charger is is at and the what this and a display for what the charger lights indicate so yeah uh, like i said you get two batteries of course they're rigid and of course everyone knows the the lifetime a lot of people buy rigid because of the lifetime warranty that they have on their batteries and so if the battery goes bad you get a free new one and here we go. This thing actually looks extremely cool. Let's zoom in on this. This thing is awesome. It has uh, three speed settings. Any other settings besides that? I believe that this trigger is for the lights. Let's put that to the test right now. Yeah, this is a special trigger for the light. And so this thing, this thing is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Of course, the batteries are dead. Oh, yeah, we got to put one on charge right now. Battery is charging. So you get instructions and warranty in the little pouch of the bag right there. Oh, and you get, perfect, a belt clip. Excellent. That goes in the instruction and warranty bag. All right, but this thing is, this thing looks seriously, seriously awesome. Of course, it's a quarter inch hex impact. And the model number for this is uh r86036 quarter inch hex uh three speed setting is on speed one zero to a thousand rpms speed two goes to zero to eighteen hundred rpms and on speed three zero to twenty four hundred rpms and zero to seventeen hundred impacts per minute let's see what the torque of this is Right now, I cannot find the torque. Uh, I will put that in right now uh, once I do a little bit more, re more research on it. But I'm going to let the batteries charge up and we'll be back when it comes to uh, doing the test. This thing really does look cool. It really does. I love the way that the front looks. Now, the front, uh, the cover is plastic, but underneath the plastic is metal. It has a three tri beam on the front, which of course activated also with the trigger right here. And so, yes, this thing is uh, this thing's awesome. There we go. 
There we go. Same style as Ryobi's belt clip. Nope. Alrighty, so the battery is fully charged now. I got one of the batteries. That sounds beefy. That sounds really, really beefy. And you do get uh, a bit right there on the back, a bit holder. That sounds beefy. Now what we are going to do is we are going to actually do a stress test on this. Uh, is the collet just a push in? Yes, it is. All right, we are going to drive in a couple of 10 inch Timberlock screws. We're going to do two of them, see what the average time is. And then I'm just going to drive in all of them and we're going to do a stress test on the tool to see how well it does. Taking four, taking out uh, seven at once. Battery's full. All right, so ready? Go. That is quiet. That is seriously quiet. All right, let's do another one. I didn't know that it was gonna be that quiet. That's that's quieter than the uh, the Ryobi Quiet Strike. All right, so ready, go. Holy cow! That is quiet. Oh my god, that is quiet. It's a bit shaky. I will say that it's a bit uh, it's a bit aggressive when it comes to I think the mechanics inside. And making the bit wobble. Instead of it, instead of it going smoothly in, you can tell that it it, it wobbles. Ready? Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, what we are gonna do is we're, we are gonna take them all out at once and see what this can do. All right, so ready? Go. That's quiet. That's a two, three. Something fell. Come on, of course, last one. And time. Now, one thing I will say, this is slow. I like it so far, it's insanely quiet. All right, so let's uh, switch over to the lags. For this test, we are going to use Tac Life Impact Rated Sockets. We are going to use the Makita half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. All right, so we're going to start off with the four and a half inch lag. Right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. You can feel that in the hand. Now, this it might be lacking power because of just the two amp hour non-octane battery, but we are gonna in the future use the octane battery and see what see what this can do. I just want to test out the kit, what this can do. All right, no, it, it did it with ease. It, it did not struggle. It just didn't do it fast. And so we are gonna test out the six and a half, uh, six inch lag. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go.
time. It's do, uh, I, I'm going to say it again. It is doing this with absolute ease. It's just not doing it fast. All right, so we're going to do the 8-inch lag. Uh, I think right here should be good. Yeah, right there is perfect. All right, 8-inch lag. Let's see what this does. Now, I'm expecting this to go smoothly and consistently. But it's going to go slow. All right, so ready? Go. See if we can keep going. What's the battery on that? Battery is at one. Let's keep going. If it'll if it'll still go. Nope, it lost the momentum. All right, we are gonna go grab the other battery. Hopefully that has some life in it. This battery is not full. This battery is probably at like 95%. But the other battery is dead. I'm pretty sure it might go up a bar after it's yeah, it's gone up a bar already. So Let's see if we can continue putting this in. Let's see, we're gonna switch to uh, setting two. All right, so ready, go. Nope, setting one. Nope, setting three again. Nope, that ain't going anywhere now. Alrighty, looks like we are going to, to see if it could take these out. Uh, actually, I want to I want to drive that in all the way. <laughs> to drive it in the rest of the way, we are going to use the Dewalt brushless uh, half uh, half inch impact wrench DCF894. I want to see if it can do it with a 1.3 amp hour battery. It might it might be able to it might be able to do it with ease. All right, we're gonna drive it in. Ready, go. Done. 1.3 amp hour battery. Able to do it. Alrighty, so we are going to see if the, if the uh, Stealth Force could take this out. Alright, so ready, go. On speed three, yes it is. Wow. Alright, so ready, go. Huh. All right, so we're gonna give the Ryobi P238 a shot. We're gonna use a three amp hour HP battery, and we're gonna see if they could uh, if this could take these out. So we're gonna give this a shot. Alright, so ready. Go. Alright, we'll do the next one. Alright, let's do the, this one. That's a negative. Let's switch to number two. Negative number one. That is a negative. All right, so the Ryobi failed to uh, pull out the eight inch. We we're gonna see if the uh, P261 could take that out. I'm pretty sure it can with with ease. All right, so ready, go. Very good. 
this was disappointing that this wasn't able to do that. I was hoping it can because the tool looks cool. It is seriously quiet. I am going to say this. You know, after using this for some, uh, some Timberlock screws and some lags, when I used a different branded uh, impact, what a noise difference. The noise on this is almost nothing. But you get the consequences of losing power uh, to have this be quiet. Like, this is seriously quiet. The whining of the motor is louder than the actual impacts of the anvil hitting the wall. That is seriously amazing on what they did to make this quiet. Now, this is quieter than the Quiet Strike. It is a severely quieter than the Quiet Strike. But once again, this is model number uh, R86036. And yes, we are going to do more tests in the future to see what this does with more powerful batteries. And as we all know, if you use a better battery, it will majorly increase the power. And we proved that with the DeWalt Atomic brushless quarter-inch hex impact. So the DeWalt Atomic failed to take the lag nuts out with a 2 amp hour battery, but we slapped a 6 amp hour battery on there, and it completely uh, took them out with ease. So in the future, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to put more, ba uh, more powerful batteries on here and see what it can do. But this test was only to see what you can do with the kit. And so that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.